Hello, this is Steve White, Steve White's 89. Well, I just watched uh, The Orville, Season 3, Episode 3, Mortality Paradox. Uh, the first thing I noticed was it was only an hour long. They had been promising that each episode was going to be like a movie. Um, and the first episode was, I think, an hour, 18 minutes, and the second one was about an hour, five or three or something. And this one was an hour, and I'm like, well, that's really just like an episode. I mean, I know they might want to talk things up big and be like, oh, the production is like a movie. I'm like, no, it's like an hour. So that was disappointing. I'm guessing this is going to be the norm. They'll probably go under an hour. Um, this episode started off kind of interesting. It was like a mystery. Um, they One of the crew members came back from a trip. They said that they had seen some K-Line in the area, detected some K-Line in the area. Then they went to a planet that was essentially a barren rock, but there was suddenly life on it. Then when they went down to... Um, um, check it out. They found there were cities, then there were no cities, like scans, but then no actual cities, and they found a high school, and then it was like we were in the Royale for about 20 minutes, except it was a high school. Um, then a giant monster chased them on the field outside the high school. Uh, Gordon had a near-death experience and had some sort of um, experience. Then we went to a plane, uh, and they were in a plane during a storm, and um, I think the captain had an experience. They all had, they went through a bunch of scenarios um, which all appeared to be um, illusions, holograms or something, and each character had some sort of near-death experience. Um, one character was nearly drowned, Eventually they find a holographic, I mean, eventually they stop going where they're led and they find a cave <laughs> with a holographic projector, they blow it up, they go back to the ship, then they find the ship is being attacked by Kalon that was pretending to be Union ships, but then we realise that they're still in an illusion and eventually they, you know, the ship's almost destroyed and then we see that... Um, the other character never actually returned to the ship. She is just returning late or rendezvousing with them late. And the other, um, the guy who was um, captaining the ship, they still hadn't found, um, I'm going to call them their way team, their way team. And eventually what we find, we have an alien reveal themselves and they're an alien race that um, the crew met earlier in um, one of the other seasons who advanced 700 years or something due to some reason, I can't remember. And then they, they eventually, in the last few years, have managed to evolve 50,000 years. And they are immortal and they are bored. So they thought, well, we need to remind ourselves what life is and what death is. So let's just go play with some um, inferior beings, uh, a la the menagerie, um, the cage, and um, just experience some near death. <laughs> And then, yeah, they basically just say, yeah, keep evolving like us. And, yeah, it was... <sighs> I don't quite get the point of the episode. I mean, we've seen it before. We've seen it before in Star Trek. And I'm not sure what they achieved by revisiting mortality because it wasn't really their mortality. It was really just like watching, observing someone. Um, yeah, I just... <laughs> it felt... a yeah, I, I really didn't feel much of this episode. I mean, there are a few action scenes, um, like the plane crashing, that was um, decent. But I was watching it, I'm like, this is not what I watch the Orville for. It's not what I watch science fiction for. You know, I want spaceships and aliens. I don't want, you know, plane crashes like alive. And, you know, um, it was a bit surreal. The effects were, were good, but you, you, you knew you were watching CGI most of the time. And I don't know, it just wasn't. A very engaging or interesting episode because I mean I, I felt like I'd seen it before and I didn't really care what was going to happen I was waiting for the revelation of whatever it was and then we got it and it was like oh another immortal being that is like you know playing with inferior beings yeah to learn something it's just yeah um yeah it was just I wasn't feeling it, it was it was it was your usual Disney trek which I kind of Disney Star Trek, which we're kind of finding the Orville is kind of turning into. Um, 
I really hope the next episode is better. The last episode was, was um, interesting because it was like basically a horror movie. Um, but this one was really, I just was not feeling it at all. And I'm just going to end the review there at five minutes. Um, I mean, there are moments where I was wondering what was happening, but then I sort of, I just didn't care. I didn't feel any real jeopardy or urgency. I was just sort of, I just felt like I'd seen it before. And it just seemed to be different versions of different stories that I'd seen before and just nothing original. And, yeah. I just hope the next episode's better. It was okay, but, um, yeah. I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Thanks.